Good morning, it's another day of working in the shop. Today we are working on the Bombi and let me show you what we're gonna start with today. The first thing Tom's gonna do is he's gonna build a mounting system for the rear seat. Here right? and here. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna be putting a strip in right there for the floor pan. We're gonna be drilling and threading and welding a vent into the gas tank to equalize the pressure on both sides, it's super boring. We're also gonna put a vent in the front axle. Hang out with us while we do that. I think Tom did a lovely job on these mounts. Why, thank you. The piece we talked about under there is under there. We got the tank bungs welded, drilled, tapped, threaded. And the vent, axle vent. We're gonna continue to work in this region on the Bombi. We're gonna be using some tools and we're gonna be using the expertise of this guy right here. That's Rhett. Of course, Tom, Tom, he's always here. I'm gonna be around. Jake. I'm here he, for moral support. Yep. And then of course we got Greg who does everything. I'm moral support as well. Okay, Rhett, this has to be completely sealed. You think you can do that? If you can yes. do it in one shot, it's uh, better. Yeah, I would tack it. I'd go around and I'd tack all four corners and then I would break Hold the that. tab off and then I would try to Hold weld that. that whole thing in one shot. I was looking at this design and I don't like it. So I wanna put a, I wanna finish the bed out like this. It'll overhang, there won't be anything here. But I think we're gonna do that. What? You wanna turn down my heat? Oh my goodness, hey. What? Oh my goodness. There's okay. some in there popping. No, it's okay. I knew you were going to have trouble because it was two layers. Oh wow, that's a big hole, man. Yeah. Uh, um, and a fire. So what I would do is I would go move faster and do two layers. Two. I can't move fast because it doesn't. Oh, I see what you mean. I made a little template. I was going to fill in these corners. We're going to go cut these out. Finish that, go Good out, nature. then stitch, stitch, stitch. But do this side first and stitch yeah. this last. Oh, we got a nice reveal. So these are what I need to pull a cab off the wrecker. Now I got them, because we need to pull a cab off the wrecker. That doesn't sound fun. We have plastic air hose problems. Oh yeah. Oh. You're gonna put copper on it? Yeah, we'll do that. Copper, Copper nickel, nickel, silicone, whatever, that break. Right? that break line stuff. Yep. Yeah, we, uh, I just put braided line on mine. I, did you? Like hydraulic hose. That's what I was thinking down on the bottom end. I just if we had, use that I ran, Teflon braided line. I ran a quarter inch hydraulic and yeah. just put a JIC fitting in it. Yep. Yeah, I think we're on the same page there. And I made the ones down where they were going to get hurt short. So that if I broke them, I could replace like a foot piece of it instead of keep a little bit wet. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this thing's coming along. Yeah, yeah. She's not quite the same old girl. I don't think she's gonna be either. Gonna have a winch. I like it. Made it so it could be completely serviced from the outside. There's a whole bunch of it I don't understand, but well, I like it. That's just an upside down Ford nine inch. I got that part of it. Okay. Well, that's gas. We'll put some of that in there. You'll need that. Yeah. I would take an extra jug with you guys just because of luck yeah. that you've had in the past. I am sitting on the side of the road out of gas in the Corvair. I can't wait till you, you have run this out of kid gas. working. Yeah, he works pretty good. I'm impressed. He's turning into quite the welder. That's good. What do you, what brings you guys to this? <sighs> we had to come get a drive line. We thought about loading the wrecker and coming and climbing a sand hill, but... Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> we didn't want to do that today. They're calling for it. Oh, I, I, I see. I see the, seen the stuff. We've talked about it today. Sean's like, we loading it up and taking it? Yeah. I've yeah. been at that hill before. I know all about it. Yeah, the first time I ever went down it, Paul went down yeah. with it with me. And the outcome was pretty much exactly the same. I thought, you know what, though? We were down there. We tried a couple times. And like, 
I was feeling kind of defeated, and I just saw this wild look in Paul's eye. <laughs> and Paul just took off. Like, he's, he backed up through the bushes and then just took off. Whoa. I'm excited. I think this will be a lot more fun to drive. Yeah. A 40 you're miles turning. an hour brake based steering is really scary. Oh, you're going to, yeah. You're going to turn. You may want a helmet on if yeah. you're going to go that fast. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking its cruising speed is going to be still be around 20 miles an hour. Well, 20 in it with all this moving stuff is pretty fast. This is our addition here. What are you going to do with all this space? Yeah, right. <laughs> we got the um, idea from you. This is, of course, you did. You get all of your good ideas from me, man. So the retaining wall. This is as far as it needs to go to the building. So basically the end of that retaining wall is the end of this addition right now. So it's just two bays. Okay. Uh, office space in the back of one. One of the bays will be a shorter, like it'll still be a deep bay, but it'll be shorter because of there's office space there. Yep. This bay on this end goes all the way through so we can get a school bus or a rector or whatever. It whatever is. needs to be in there. But in upstairs, there. but the, in, this end of it upstairs will be a loft apartment buildings up there they should have worked out pretty good okay we're gonna let these guys go home and we're gonna head back in the shop and work on the bombie yeah. they're not even paying attention <laughs> i never pay attention to that guy what? how's it going it's going good almost done all right colin just got out of welding school not graduated but i mean like today so we're putting him to work Somebody still needs to shake these to make sure they don't fall off. Give them a good shake, Rick. Oh, those aren't going anywhere. That's going to work. Do you want to try to weld this in or should we let Rhett do it? I know. I'm just worried. Now Rhett really wants the challenge. Yeah. I mean, it can always be fixed. So I'm doing... Will you get me a Christmas tree? Thanks, Dad. That one's sharp. That looks oh, no. brand new. Okay, Tom. Yeah. You want to line him up on? On the back. On the back yeah. and I'll get him tacked in. These are going here. We want this top to be nice and flush. Okay. Like that? Yep, right there. Okay, we'll shape these a little more, but go around and lay a good beat all the way around, anywhere you can get to. Okay. Let's tack this one in. Okay, try right there. Okay, rep. Make that completely waterproof. That thing's heating up fast. That was a lot harder than I thought it was. No, 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 no way around. You did it. Looks good. Yeah, I don't know about the bottom, but I think it's good. That's the tricky part, huh? Dude, okay, we've got to figure out how to seal this. Okay. So. If we put a piece that rubber o-ring in and some plates and stack up a couple plates, that would work. Yeah, it'd be nice if we had some circle we could smash down in there. What about the old pump? We could put the old pump in there if it's still around. All right, we're gonna plug off all these holes. We're gonna pressure test this tank and see how we did. Oh, look at that. Shove that in there. Okay, hold up. This will leak. We can we can plug these two, but we can't yeah. plug this one. Fill with uh, JB weld, hot glue, molasses. Do we have hot glue? Hot no. glue would just shoot out. What if I just ran a screw in there with some bright stuff? Bright stuff is the answer. Hope I can get up. One minute. Yep. I like it. Hang on, let me get this. Okay. Okay, when Jake gets back, we'll have our plugs. 
I go to the store and look who's here. Riff Raff, that's who. What yep. the heck? What are you guys doing in this we were, part of the we world? We were just in your shop and you missed us. I missed these guys? You missed us. Alright, I hit the mother load for these MPTs. Look at all these options. They got, ooh. I seem to have lost the, the shop truck keys. Found them. Back to the shop. Ooh, those look good, man. Those will grind off clean. I don't know if we want to grind them off. They're too pretty. Yeah. I better come inspect this. Don't look at these ones. Those ones you can Those are smooth. Where were the keys? At the front desk, which is funny because I left them in the ignition. I ran into the fab rats, which that was cool. And uh, yeah, somehow they made it from my ignition to the front desk. I think I've been trolled. I'm skeptical. All right, here's a bag of giblets. Well, and, uh, some cleaning mm -hmm, supplies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Put these temporary plugs in right here so we can pressure test the tank and we'll leave them in for the sandblasting so they don't. Doesn't damage the threads. That's going to be a bracket that the plate sits on that holds all of these master cylinders. These are the guys. Tom, you look really cool with those glasses. Oh, thanks, man. These are my cool glasses. <laughs> I'll be back. Hey, that fits kind of. It kind of does. This. We're gonna have to get a metal fab shop to fix our table a little bit right here. What'd you do? Chop oh, right into that thing. In case you haven't heard, this is Ben, and he happens to be the brother of Michelle from Fab Rats. Pretty famous guy. It's been open. There you go. Heck yeah, adventures. I'll get you on too, buddy. Oh yeah. Yeah. We've been we've been hanging out in Florida doing redneck things. Dude, everybody knows me as the Mountain Dew thief. Nobody knows me as Ben or the other uncle. Or the ben. plumber or the, <laughs> yeah. the helper the, or the good the guy, brother. The guy. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Anyway, that's your shirt, buddy. Look at we this. We are we are headed. Dude, we are yep. headed on Cedar Mountain. Uh huh. Me and five other dads were getting dropped off in the middle of nowhere. We're hiking 30 miles off the mountain. That is going to be our first major video Dads versus Wild. Are you hiking down to like Glendale? Yep. Okay. Well, it's down to Mount Carmel. Okay, well. So, but yeah. Oh Hopefully, we don't have to make a call. We'll be here if you do. <laughs> Paul Check it out. Here. Another one done. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect enough. All right, let's test that gas tank to see if we have made it proper. It's yeah, all... there's one down here and there's one right here. Okay, so you need to go around that really carefully. Uh, right there. Yeah, the, whoever welds that tank was not very good. We might want to check the outside. <laughs> wow, this thing's a sieve. I don't know what that means. What is it's a sieve? It's leaking like a sieve. You have never heard of that? No. No. A sieve is just like a strainer with like, it's like made out of screen. Oh, a strainer. Oh. Why did you say screen? Because a sieve is a because thing. Because the saying is. A sieve, a sieve is a pot that's made out of a screen door. And it's for like drying noodles and stuff. I just use a strainer personally. Yeah. It, but a use, sieve is better yes, than a strainer. Yes, but a strainer covers a broad variety of all of them. A sieve is a specific thing. Yeah. They're not used very much in cooking anymore. Okay, so we only need to fix what? Right here, and then. One, two, three, four, five. Six. This one's epoxied. Uh, epoxied? So we just put more epoxy Yeah, five to fix right there. 
Okay, Rhett, fix, fix those ones on the top and then we'll do it. Okay, so you're gonna start swirling and just go along that line all the way to there. And then we'll test it. We're here staging for the Peach Days Parade. It's gonna be awesome. Stopped raining for a second, that's a plus. It better stay stopped raining. And I'm gonna get some sleep tonight. Just like that, huh? Peach Days Parade 2023 is in the books. It was a great time. What do you guys think? That was fun. Woo! Right, what's my tab up to? Um, you've got, you've you only got, got four shakes. Okay. Nah. I had to start a tab here because this is my favorite camp trailer in the world because it has peach shakes. That's right, and they're awesome. We need to get you guys to the record. This Texas Twister is amazing, but it's a little too sweet for me. Rusty hooked me up with an extra sour drink. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Gil. Woo! Oh, he got caught on the floor! Oh! Try to skin. Woo! There we go. Oh! This guy offered his horse for Rhett and Carter to try it. We're gonna see how it goes. Saying sweet things in its ear to get it to slow down. Get higher, it'll be easier. You gotta pick up the package. Oh, he's gonna try the front this time. Watch out for the saddle horn, bud. You want me to do what? Have a good time for this. Give the uh, passenger a hand. He was hanging on for a good long time. <laughs> Tell us how that was. Didn't go according to plan, but it worked. Brett left me hanging too long. That was the funniest thing I have seen in a long time, and the whole crowd loved it. The crowd it. loved it. It was Good awesome. job, guys. Next year, my arms are dead. It's a new day. Yesterday, we got kind of distracted, and everybody just went their own ways. I'm back. Tom and Colin are out on a recovery, so it's just me in the shop. I hope you're okay with that. We're going to keep working on this tank to fix every last little leak. Now, we've sealed some of these up and we had, we had one leak there. We had an old leak, one that was original, a pinhole in the original weld. And then we had a little bit of leak there. Also, I noticed they had a leak here in the past because they put some epoxy stuff on here to seal it. So I'm gonna peel the epoxy off and see if we can get it all welded up. So we got
got a call for a side-by-side -side that's rolled on its side and it's stuck out here at Sand Hollow somewhere by the Oasis Sand Dune. So we're gonna head over there and see if we can help them. Got Colin here with me today. Hey guys. Like Tom said, we're gonna go get them. Um, I don't know the temperature right now, but it doesn't feel too bad and not a cloud in the sky. We got Jonah in the back. Hey, what's up? Happy to be here. Okay, we'll get them out. Cooling will do a little bit more clean up and there's some weld around that one that I know is leaking. This is one of those jobs where if somebody drives by they would probably help them out so they must be in an area that they're not seeing a lot of traffic and there's not too many people out here today so we told them we'd be there pretty quick. The, the lake is completely dead so we're gonna have to go help them. Who knows, maybe we'll get there and there's gonna be somebody else there helping them get it back over, so. So we had a couple of really big storms come through here. So some of this area is just totally washed out. good about that I feel like it was leaking it's not leaking there. who knows so we just came up over this hill and we see them there's another razor there and I think they have a rope attached these guys were nice enough to straighten us out so it should oh. be a simple little roller right over now yeah yeah I'm gonna get I appreciate good. the help man that's funny I was literally just watching you guys videos the other day we come up here I didn't know it was over this so we started bombing as we were turning around one roll right there i think we're good man it i turned it off it's in park right now um you turn it, shut it off pretty much shut right it away. Off. Yeah. It, yeah shut off right away that radiator is not busted there's no fluids leaking yeah if we roll you over give it a minute for the oil to settle yeah you should be able i to think fire we're good up. i looked at the suspension i couldn't see anything totally messed up yet but okay this isn't the best but i think it'll just pull you over Right. I think you might pivot a little bit this way, which is fine. Yeah, we're straight. And then it'll drop it over. So yeah. I'm going to hook up and we'll watch what it does. We'll move slow and just see how it moves. Nothing. Okay. Fix that one. Whoa. Oh, wrecked. Good thing we double checked that one. Alright. Anything? No. Nice. Did we get it? I think so. They're over and safe. The motor was running good and everything, so we're gonna go home now. Okay, so my dad's out and he told me to cut this off because he wants to redo it. Whoa, look at that weld that he built up. Ooh. It was stronger than the pipe. Yeah. How'd it go? Look who it is! It was a little more exciting than we could tip them back over, but... Not only were they rolled over, but they were on a side tail. 
Yeah. So it was super fun. So that fun. made it more difficult. So how's this going over here? Well, we had to cut this piece off. Oh no. Because that. That had this cool bead that we rolled in too. We'll do another one. Oh, is that my yeah. weld? No. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you burned through. Darn. All right, well, we'll fix it. So this is that bead roller that makes the little bead. It rolls the bead. That's why it's called the bead roller. Okay, cranky, cranky. And then you just keep turning and cranking. And there it is. See the little bead? So you slip on your tube, put on a little thing. What do they call it? Hose clamp? <laughs> yeah. And they don't come off, they don't leak. That's what we needed. We're back. I heard you guys are back. Colin left. <laughs> Uh, in the top. So it's been cut off, and the new piece has been has been made. Oh, look at that! Yeah, fresh piece. So we were able to to fix. I just welded all the way around this, mm -hmm. and then we tested no, it and sealed up. And sealed. So I think I can just weld all the way around this and do the same thing. Dad, do you need anything? Or are you doing okay? I am um, okay. That looks quite a bit better. Okay, are we taking bets on whether or not this sealed? I think it's sealed. I, I hope so. I think it's sealed. And if not, can I? If not, it should have, huh? Pull it off. <coughs> Need to look underneath it here. here. See anything blowing? I can't hear it. Get your hand in the way. Doesn't look like it. Does it look sealed? Yeah. I think it is. Whew! Okay, we have a sealed tank for the moment. So I don't think any of the holes in this were from like stress like stress cracks or anything i think they were just lack of welding manufacturing uh mistakes so i think she'll last another three or four years no problem can't wait to do it again okay. is that the oil can at all is that bulging yeah you can fill it out the bottom you hear that drum? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. That's, that's the bottom. That's boom, the boom. biggest flat surface. Boom, boom. Yeah. So that's it should never bad. have this other than the weight. And the slosson. That's the... It'll be this rhythmic drum. Here's a little story that needs to be told. <laughs> okay. Somebody suit up. Drag this welder around here. All my pretty welds are where you can't see them. I'll agree with that. So there's been a little bit of discussion about where the levers should be. So a lot of you want the levers right here in front of you because you think you drive this like this, but you don't. 99.9% um, .9 of the time, you're only pulling one lever at a time. And having these straight in front of you is hard to get around. They're just in your face. So you drive it like this, left turn, right turn, left turn. And then sometimes when I want to stop, I'll just pull them both back. So this is by far the most natural, easy way to steer this. Do you ever push the lever? No, the levers only pull, they only go one way. They're only a brake. So they got a strong spring on them to pull them back. Are you gonna have a foot brake too? Nope. We're eliminating the foot brake. Simplicity. I want to make sure that nobody can safely drive any of my equipment except for me. Okay. Okay, weld that on. I'm just waiting for you. Oh, that's hot. Hang on, hold on. Woo. I was just getting ready. Okay, weld it. So this pivot is going to be down here somewhere. 
maybe right through there. You never know. Could be right there for all I know. This is our pivot right here. So I'll put a little hole in here so we can squirt some grease in there with a needle greaser. Every 25, 30 years when these seize up, we'll try to get some grease in there. While you guys weren't looking, I went ahead and trimmed this panel to fit this new piece. Both sides. Finger tighten the bolts. We have got a lot, a lot of comments that we should put stacks on the Bombi right here. And I thought, you know, that would be cool. I've actually contemplated it for a minute. Stacks, that would be awesome. And some people even cite, you don't want to be standing right here with exhaust in your face while you're working back here hooking stuff up. Well, the exhaust has always come out the back and it wasn't really a problem. But I'll tell you what would be a problem. Rhett, you're a cameraman. Is that annoying? Yeah. That's why we're not gonna do stacks, is because we do a lot of filming off of the top of the Bombi here, and having stacks in the camera guy's face, no good. It's not, it's not good to hold on to something hot, too. Thanks for thinking of me. Yeah, Colby wants a seat up here. He's not getting a seat, but at least we're not blasting him with exhaust. I'll take it. Colby. Just make some things to slide in right there. You know, you we're gonna, th there's going to be a nice grab bar right there. It's going to be safer than ever, maybe. How high does that need to be? Turn around. If you're filming, tell me how high that needs to be. Wait, I don't think we need to use red. Yeah, you need to use somebody a little taller. I'm thinking like, <laughs> I like this. Oh, how are we going to make right, that Let me good? get up there and see what yeah, we need. It this has to be ocean approved. Four feet. Is that what they are? Is that a humble off of them? Oh yeah, it's got to be up here. That's too high. Right there? Yeah. Right at the teeth, teeth level? Yeah, that's... Here, let's see. I'm losing Here's teeth. four feet. That's too high. <laughs> that's pretty high. It's so big. Okay, let's go... 42. Okay, that's 42. That's... Meh. You could go a little lower. 40 inches. Oh yeah. Okay, that's and then we'll 40, 42. That's and then we'll hook into so how, what if we did put a seat right there? Yes. A pivoting seat? A turret? Oh, oh yeah. we need a cannon. We have cannons. It's got to be the one where you're laid back in it like the bomber. Oh, yeah. The whole seat <laughs> tips back when you elevate the you, gun. Yeah. Yeah, you press pedals to turn. Change I'm direction. picturing like the Millennial Falcon. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Millennial Falcon or the Millennium Falcon? <laughs> millennial. 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 Everybody knows it's the Millennial Falcon. So it appears that my crew's already checked out, so... Thanks for watching. <laughs> I, I am something more <laughs>